All right, super excited to be back with Audrey Mutupi from Johannesburg, South Africa, but she is partly Canadian. I just got to put that in there again. She got a little, she's got a good taste of Canadian. Um, hey, um, hey, Audrey, um, influencers, um, they come in all sizes, shapes, sometimes for a second, sometimes for a lifetime. Can you share with us maybe two or three people that have been influencers in your life? The first, my grandfather, who dared to raise um, nine daughters and educate nine them. Nine daughters, holy cow. 11, 11 children, but he educated 11, he had nine daughters, all of whom he educated at a time where he was told you couldn't educate girls. That's number one. The second one um, is actually my mother, uh, who has always been an inspiration and still is. Uh, because uh, she's the one who says nothing is too small, too big, or impossible. And I've watched it in action uh, with very little and stuff. And the third, um, proudly saw, most definitely, Nelson Mandela. I know you, everybody says that all the time, but uh, as a child who was born and raised in exile and having come back, for me, um, he, he was, is, and will always continue to be that reconciliator who inspires every single one of us to be the best that you can. He may not have done everything right. Uh, we all could never have done everything right and please everyone. But at the end of the day, in his life journey and his works and his readings and what he did for the country, for me, the takeaway there that continues to inspire me is we all have the responsibility to be the best we can, but more important, we also all have the responsibility to change somebody else's life. I think they, you say a lot of people say that there's a reason a lot of people say that and you just you just shared that so uh, kudos to your mom and dad and and all the people that started you on your journey um, you know I'm going to Canada and uh, um, thanks so much for sharing that Brilliant. thank you all the best you too